Hey there guys, it's Tom here from Mobile DJ Tech Tips UK and welcome back to the channel. Now today I've just got a quick video on uh, how to access the mapping section within Rekordbox DJ. But before we get into any of that, I've literally nearly hit 100 views on one of my vids. So I'm absolutely like ecstatic about that. You have no idea how much that means to me. So I just want to say a massive thanks for the support. Uh, also, if you wouldn't mind hitting that um, thumbs up or even the thumbs down button, it's completely up to you it's your choice but your feedback and support is is more than welcome uh, also if you're new to the channel please feel free to subscribe and also hit that bell notification so you get notifications of when i'm next uploaded so without further ado let's get straight into the video okay so once you've opened up your record box dj software as you can see i have here um it doesn't matter if you have the fully licensed or the 30 day free trial this is gonna work regardless. You're gonna have access to your uh, MIDI file section within the software. So a lot of people get confused. What they do is they go along and they click on the preference icon, which is the gear icon right here on the top right. So once you open that, it's obviously gonna bring up all your preferences, such as your view, audio, analyze, controller, keypad, advanced, license, and lighting. So what I'm going to do is, for example, a lot of people are going to think maybe if I click on advanced, it's going to take me to the mapping section. Or if I click on controller, it's going to take me to the mapping section. So you can click on deck, mixer, effect, sample, re recordings and other. And none of this is going to take you to the mapping section. So we're going to go along and just close that down. So we're gonna go back up to the top right again and right beside the preference icon, which is the gear icon, is gonna say the word MIDI. I'm gonna go along and click on that and I'll expand that for you now so you can see. So as you can see, this is the mapping section. Here is gonna say your device connect, uh, connected device off the top left, which is my DDJS1. For you, obviously it's gonna be completely different. It will be the controller that it is that you're using. And here then you're gonna find your mapping section. So you have your deck, your pad, your FX, sampler, mixer, browse, other, and lighting. So here you're gonna find your sub menus for the mapping segments for each part of your controller itself or your mixer, whatever it is that you're using. So there you go. It's that simple to access the MIDI section within Recordbox DJ. Now I know a lot of people get confused. They go, oh wait, I see a settings icon. Let me just go click on that and I'll be able to access the MIDI section within the software. When you actually have to click on MIDI itself and then it gives you all the breakdown parts as I showed you there. Um, it gives you all the breakdown points um, of different parts of your controller and what you map it to. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there for this video. If you wouldn't mind hitting that like button or even that dislike button i appreciate your feedback regardless also we'll hit that bell notification wherever that may be um, and also feel free to subscribe it's completely free it doesn't cost you guys a penny and it helps me feel good it's a win-win situation all right there guys thank you very much practice and enjoy and i'll see you